Anyway, thank you for uh, coming out tonight. Hope you had a lot of fun. Yeah. yeah. myself that all the time. <laughs> but, uh, tonight was a chore. I had to work at it, but uh, sometimes I was anxious to get my two cents worth in there, but I didn't, didn't always get that opportunity. But still, I, I think that uh, we got our message out. I think our numbers keep growing. This is what's so fantastic about what's happening in the country. Because, uh, you know, four years ago it was quite different than 10, 15 years ago. There were a lot of people thinking about it back then, but now there's a lot of people talking about it. And, you know, there's a magic number that they say that, uh, that that shows when the revolution is really moving. And that is when you get an endorsement of at least 10%. I say right now we have more than 10%. Some others talked about it, and they were sort of leaning in our direction on it. Yeah. Now, I didn't get the question on the Federal Reserve. No, 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 no. I'm not in the Federal Reserve. No, that is true. So uh, I think I would have liked to have embellished a bit on that. I'd like to have about 30 minutes. So I'm going to know what we ought to do. But we will have that. We will have that chance. <laughs> Just remain engaged and enthusiastic because it's moving in our direction. The one thing with certainty is we need some different ideas in Washington. We don't need to narrow it down. I know it's great to say, let's just get rid of Obama. But if we just get rid of Obama, we don't replace him with somebody and something a lot better than what we've been putting up with. Right. We need juice! Yeah. We need juice! Oh. Yeah. And that is what is available to us today. I mean, I'm just uh, really impressed with how many young people now are studying economics and know a little bit about the uh, Mises, uh, Mises Institute and Austrian economics. The other day when I was interviewed on national television, they actually asked a very serious question. Like, I don't know, he didn't know what it was. He said, what is this Austrian economics? Could you tell us about it a little bit? But the fact that it was a serious question is very encouraging. Because we have to refute their ideas, and then we have to, uh, of course, apply that to the political action. So I, uh, I think the founders were very keen on looking at philosophy. They were very good at politics, too, and they were willing to take risks, and they worked hard. There was a revolution. I don't think our task is nearly that hard. It could get worse if our government gets more authoritarian, but right now we have the tools to convert people and to change people, but it, it will not be easy. But I suspect here in the next 12 months, our economy is going to get a lot worse. And uh, that just confirms what we know and believe. And uh, we've been on the wrong track for so long, and you, you just can't keep spending and printing money. And uh, unfortunately, every time they do that, it's another mandate, you know, coming down on us. So let's all get to stick together. Let's repeal all those federal mandates, and let's declare that we're a free society once again. <laughs> Yeah. 
That was great. Thank you so much. Uh,